Good morning people. Today we are going to be reviewing this and this is the Sleek Axe Auto Snow Foam Lance which I got off Amazon and we're reviewing this one because I was just seeing what ones are on Amazon for decent prices so if we just go on Snow Foam Lance on Amazon well for me it might be different for you but uh, it is the first one that comes up so it is £20 and it has got four and a half stars with 373 ratings for it so that's actually pretty good. So we're going to see if it is any good and we're going to put it up against the Auto Glim Lance, which I know is a tiny bit more expensive, but that is about 37, 38 pound at Halfords and on Amazon it is about 36 pound, but it's got a couple deals on it as well. So if you bought the shampoo with it and the stuff we're going to be using in it today is this, which is the Koch Chemi Gentle Snow Foam which will cost you about £16 from this detailing shop called Slims. So, that being said, let's open it up and uh, let's get to it. So, let's open the box and hopefully this is going to be easy to put together. So, we've got the bottle. It does also come with a little funnel. So look at that. Makes it easier for you to fill it up. Pretty cool. I hope we have a cartridge fitting in here. All right, they've already done it for you. Usually you have to put this together yourself, so it's a bit easier. Then we've got the tube, the instructions for cleaning it, a thank you from Amazon, and is that another seal in there? Yeah, and another, or well, another O-ring, or the O-ring for this. Anyway, there is no filter on it, which, the more expensive ones do have. So let's just pop that on there. And then that just goes on there. So I read the instructions properly, but I think that's it. So let's fill them up. So I did just glance at the instructions quickly after doing that, and uh, it is a spare O-ring, but just what I thought was quite funny. It says to get said O-ring out of there, it says using a coin, rotate the adopter cap in a counterclockwise direction to shown position. So not a screwdriver or at all, a coin. Yeah, I just thought it was quite funny. Anyway, let's get back on with the video. So I'm gonna fill these up now. And admittedly on the instructions, it does say I only use 20 milliliters of snow foam to one liter. I'm gonna use more than that. I'm gonna use one of these. This is what, 78 mil to a pint of water. I know that's really, really concentrated, but it's my video, so I don't care. So pour that in there. Should have grabbed something to stir it with. But uh, it still smells like those um, sweet banana things, you know, and like the candy king in the sweet aisle thing on the bob. I'm just stalling. But yep, yeah, let's use their funnel. Hopefully, I'm not going to spill this. Well, I did. I'll speed up the next one so you haven't got to sit through me just pouring it away. Same again with the Auto Glim one. Fill that up with that. Pull that in there. And to be fair, the Auto Glim head is a lot bigger, so I shouldn't actually need to use a funnel. Nah, no, no, I'm just going to pour it in. And spill most of it. Oh well, at least the table's nice and clean. All right, there we go. Now let's go out to the van and see how good it is. So first up, we've got the Auto Glim one and both sides of the van are gonna be wet because it's pretty hot. So this way it, it will be fair, you know, it should stay on the same amount if they're both wet. So see how it goes. <laughs> are a lot easier but it's just a bit annoying because it, it swings but anyway so we know the auto glim one is pretty good sorry about the squinting it's really sunny but see a decent foam up so let's go around the other side and see how the other one does right now it's time for the sleek x again hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly i'm doing this for the worst time because it is really hot and 
it's still quite early, so I didn't think big it is. But anyway, not sure about what's the correct setting on it yet, so this is the first time I'm going to use it, but you can adjust the spread like that, and then you can adjust the concentrate like that. So let's just go all the way up and like that. See how it goes. <laughs> Straight away I can see that's nowhere near as thick. And that is turn all the way up. If I turn it down. Oh. Just like that. So you can see it a bit clearer. Try again. Make this spread a bit more. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's doing too well. So. It's not really foamy, I would just say it's just a bit soapy. So I'll do them both on the same side so we can have a better look. So I'm going to do one half with this one and then one half with the Auto Clean one. So let's see what one stays on longer. <laughs> Again, quick fit adapter, useful but also quite annoying. So, as you see, like this one is already coming off. That one is still stuck to it. You see that one's all running down, and this one is staying put quite well. A bit closer with the camera. As you can see. So, that's the ogling bit. Hey, look at it off really slowly with that one that's not dripping off slowly that's just running off my finger I'm not saying it's the worst I have used worse but I certainly certainly wouldn't say it's worth 20 pounds so I'll wash them off and I'll do the whole thing again so we're gonna time the auto one now <laughs> So, I'm going to start the stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes to come on. So, most of it is now off and that has taken. Oh, just over five minutes for it to all come off. So let's try the Amazon one and we'll see how that compares. Now for the Amazon one, the uh, sleek axe. Here we go. <laughs> Start the timer and let's see how it does. So I've paused it on 
just like five minutes and 40 seconds and at the start I'd say most of it come off pretty quickly but for the last little bits they've uh, clung on there quite well but I definitely do think the Auto Glim one has done better but uh, I'm gonna wash off the rest of the van and then uh, we'll do a proper conclusion Right, my final thoughts on the Sleekak Snow Foam Lance from Amazon. I will tell you something that happened on the other side of the van. And in here is that attachment that I said you were supposed to tighten with a coin. Well, the instructions say to tighten with a coin. But it kept coming out on the other side of the van. So I only had about five ons and offs of this, and it was fine. And then after that, it keeps coming out every time. And what's annoying is you can't actually tighten it anymore. So you see here, you can see that there's like a little lock on it, so it doesn't let you tighten that any, if I try it, so that is it, that is as far as it can go, you cannot tighten that anymore. So every time you then want to take it off the culture, it twists off, and then it pops out, and then when it pops out, you lose the O-ring. So that is why there is another one in there, not due to it wearing out, due to the fact you're probably going to lose it. That did take me about 15 minutes to find it, but I did find it in the end. So just a word of warning, if you ever do get this, that this bit is probably gonna come out and you're gonna have to mess around with it. But even if I don't take that into consideration and I pretend that this never happened, comparing those two, the Auto Glim Polar Blaster is, is the clear winner. I know there's just like a 16 pound difference, give or take, give or take 16 pound, but for 16 pound, spend it, so it's 35 and this is 20 pound, 100% get the Oglin one because it is so much better and that without meaning to sound rude or mean is it's just a waste that's just a waste of time and a waste of money so yeah Oglin for the win so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching